I'm so tapped up, and if you're just about anybody, you probably hate this uh, Valentine's event. You might hate it even though you don't even have it yet, which is, by the way, a very valid uh, opinion to have because it's just kind of objectively terrible. Anyway, uh, one thing, one way to make it less terrible, which um, I'm not sure I'm even going to bother to do myself, but I thought I would get this out there just to, uh, <laughs> frankly, give a nice big old middle finger to the developers. Um, or publishers, most likely. Anyway, um, so you send out the platypus every three hours, and you gotta wait. Just, just the whole, the whole event. You just wait three hours, and it brings back a piece of garbage. That's the whole event. That's that's all the gameplay there is. There's no, there's no gameplay. This is this. It's not even an event. It's just an automated task. Could do all this event is. So what we're gonna do is uh, set up an automated task to do this event. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is something called a Nox App Player. Um, I one of the most common questions I get, and one of my least viewed videos is um, Nox App Player: How to play Abyssrium on PC. So what this is is Nox App Player. It's uh, just go to BigNox.com. I think it is Nox with an M or N. Uh, just Google Nox App Player, you'll find it. Um, it's for PC and for Mac. Um, and what it is, is an Android emulator. It, it simulates a full-blown Android, it's a full-blown Android operating system that you can play on your PC, basically. And um, because it is, you know, it is, it is Android. It straight up is Android, so it works like Android. Um, you log in to your Google Play account, you download the games you own on Google Play, you log in to your cloud save accounts with your Google Play account, and your game is right there. So, um, and you can even transfer your saves from uh, iOS if you use uh, the Facebook save method. Just log in on Facebook on both devices, save on one, load on the other, and you transfer your thing. Parker, not now. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's a whole other video. I'll link you to the description on how to do that. It's really not that hard to set up. But anyway, what I'm going to show you is the macro recorder. So, notice here on the right here, there's this little mouse icon kind of deal. And that is the macro recorder. That opens, hello Parker, I should have known I would not be rid of you. So the macro recorder brings up this little dealie. And so if you don't know what a macro is, basically it's a recording of your actions. So what we're going to do is click that little record button. We're going to claim the platypus reward. And you need to do this in this order specifically. you got to get the actual... You have to wait to record until you have the thing. And then what we're going to do is claim the, the thing. And then what we're going to do is click around here in the middle a little bit. Because sometimes, um, sometimes you get a fish and it'll give a create fish dialogue thing. So, we're going to do that, and then we're going to hit that little stop arena, or no, first we're going to send on an exploration again. And off it goes, and confirm. And now we're going to stop our recording. Um, I'm not 100% sure the one I just recorded is foolproof, because you can get fish instead. And if you get a 2017 fish, which is infuriating, um, it'll create the fish immediately and the menus will be a little different. The danger, the one danger of these macros is that if the menuing is any different at all, it might get uh, set off. But what you need to do now is, um, excuse me, I, I, need, I need three hours in seconds. Hours in seconds. So you need to set this. What we're going to do is loop it every three hours and one minute. So, hour... Uh, there. I always give a little bit of extra time just in case, because you don't want it to start too early, because then it'll get set off, it'll get off, and then the whole thing is ruined. So you just give it a little bit of extra time. So now it will loop every three hours. It will attempt to run. And, um... It'll just perform those steps. Um, I would be a little bit careful if you have enough pearls for it to be dangerous. Um, the way you can do it is if you just if you have multiple devices, like just keep a, fr a clean save on your uh, phone, and then if something happens and it wastes your pearls or something in this game, um, you can just load your phone, you know, just as a backup. That's a nice way to do things. 
But basically what this will do is run every three hours and it will claim the platypus reward and send it back off. Um, I, the event just started, so I haven't tried this out myself, so the, like I said, there's a potential pitfall in the 2017 fish, but, um, it'll, those are possibly moderately rare, so it, it should at least run a few times before that happens, even if that is a big deal, and, uh, there's probably a way to design it such that it's not a problem. Uh, if I do hit that issue, I'll make a new video and show how to do, you know, a fixed version. Uh, but that should be able to basically automatically do the stupid platypus crap um, so yeah um, yeah <laughs> and just leave leave it up leave it like while you're you know watching a movie or you know, overnight if you want to and um, it's gonna the one thing you want to do is watch it the first time you run it, you know, because you got to start it here, and it'll kind of try to run even though the menus aren't set up right. So you want to babysit it the first, you know, time you press OK, and just make sure it doesn't uh, open the shop and buy pearls. By the way, um, just good thing in general, make sure your account on Google Play or iOS requires a password to use your credit card. Um, that way, clicking the menus will never accidentally be able to purchase anything. It's pretty unlikely that the macro would ever be able to do that, but you want that anyway. Especially if you have kids, um, they will buy things on your phone. You don't, you don't want that. Um, so yeah, do I feel bad about using, you know, a little cheat here to do this? No. No. I hope everybody does this. Oh, by the way, the nimble platypus, uh, this is such bullcrap. Um, the nimble platypus, for one thing, um, it, the description makes it sound like it finds all of the coral and seeds in a single hour. Um, what that means is its timer is an hour. It still only finds one thing. Number two, this cute little aviator hat and scarf thing, total lies. It is made of filth and lies. The icon, no, none of that crap is there. It's just a pink platypus. It's just... A frickin' skin flesh platypus. It's kinda gross. So yeah, false advertising. By the way, somebody on Reddit got a successful refund. Uh, if you bought the Nimble Platypus before you realized this event was complete garbage, uh, please request a refund. Um, Google Play was the one that issued it. I'm pretty sure Android or Apple would issue it as well. Uh, as long as it's a pretty recent purchase and you explain yourself well, um, it's pretty much, you know, they'll refund it. Um, yeah. D don't don't support the devs. Like I said, don't watch ads. Don't don't pay anything. Um, I have deleted the app from my phone. I only have it in this Android emulator because I mean it would be pretty purely symbolic to delete it off of this. Though I was tempted. Um, just just in case there's other exploits that we can do to break this stupid event. Um, I am pretty done with this game unless things get better. Um, so this thing is actually worse than I thought it was in my 20 minute video where it explained how bad it was. Uh, it's actually a little bit worse. So the reason I deleted the app from my phone, um, after 24 full hours, after 5 uh, attempts with the stupid platypus garbage, um, he finally brings back a fish. But you know what fish it was? It was, it was the angelfish. It was the heart angelfish from 2000, from 2017. The heart angel fish. I have 20. I have 20 of these things. I have 22 now. This is what I got. I waited a full day. They said it was no fun to get all of the fish in one day. They're, they're freaking idiot liars, by the way. It was super fun. I, I recorded myself doing the, the Christmas event. You can tell I'm having fun. I'm not really a super emotive person, uh, per, per, honestly. You know, I don't like scream and you know make YouTube thumbnail faces. Um, but you can tell in that video I'm super excited when I find the last hidden fish. Um, it was fun. It's fun to play things and get things and complete events. It's fun to have fun. The old events were fun. This is, this is dog crap. I'm sorry, this is just garbo. But, but yeah. So, if, if getting all the fish in one day isn't fun, isn't fun, uh, what is getting none of the fish in one day? Is that fun? Do you have a sense of pride and accomplishment? I know I do. I know I do. So yeah. I, I don't recommend playing this game. I personally recommend 
uh, boycotting it, if nothing else, you know, boycott the in-app purchases and the ads, because the ads do give them money. Um, but personally, I recommend just go to your home screen, long press the app icon for Abyssrium, drag it up to the little trash icon, and delete it, because that's what I did on my phone. And the only reason I have it in this little emulator is because I don't really have this, you know, on my person at all times. And, um, just in case there's some exploit we can do, I want to be able to make a video on it. I, I didn't even want to make this video. There's other videos explaining. There was even a video where I was going to tell you how uh, glowing conch is important for events too. Because it, it lets you cast Song of the Moon more. And then they removed Song of the Moon. <laughs> <sighs> this is fantastic. Anyway, we've all been griping about the stupid event in my uh, Abyssrium channel, or um, my Discord channel. I made an Abyssrium channel in my Discord server. Um, go to sirtaptap.com slash Discord, and you can hop in there. Um, there's an Abyssrium channel for, for it's, it's the salt mines right now. But yeah, <laughs> we've, yeah. <laughs> And like, I, since I'll get questions, yes, the event slow rollout, Garbo, as always, etc. Um, I expect that most people have the event by Friday or Saturday. Uh, Sunday, probably at the latest. It's they always do these dumb slow rollouts. It's infuriating. Um, it's nothing to do with your your device. Um, oh, one more thing, one more thing. So I was talking about how this is actually worse than I thought. Um, this is actually something called Kampu Gacha, which is illegal in Japan. So, um, what this is, Kampu Gacha, so Gashapon is named after these little capsule toy machine things. Um, that's basically what loot boxes or the luck shell are in mobile games or AAA games, or, you know, whatever. Basically, you spend money uh, to get a random thing. And, um, you know, you can get free pulls, but the more money you spend, the better odds are. That's how Gacha works. Uh, Kampu Gacha is a banned practice in Japan where what they would do is once you get all of the lower oh, Once you get all of the lower tier things you could unlock the better tier So say there's like 10 pretty anime girls and they all have a 1% drop rate and In order to get the 11th pretty anime girl you had to get all 10 of those So instead of you have to get 10 things that have a 1% drop rate, so that's 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 big numbers. I don't I can't math right now. I'm too angry to math. But that is a very very low number, okay? So, yeah. Uh, so you had to get all 10 of those anime girls and then then you would unlock the super magical one. And people would spend literally thousands of dollars. They they banned this practice after I want to say it was Grand Blue Fantasy. Um, somebody did a live stream for like 20 hours and they spent like $3,000 on just just spinning the wheel just you know sending out that platypus um, To get the thing Why do I bring this up? Because that's exactly how the platypus works my friends uh, The way the platypus works is that you have in order to unlock these later ones You have to get 100% of the coral drops. You have to get 100% of these puppies Why is that a big deal? Because the things that the platypus gives you is actually random. Um, it actually... Um, it can give you a coral. It does seem likely to give you a coral. They didn't disclose the odds, by the way, which is against Apple's App Store policies. Um, there's no odds listed for this gacha pawn. So it breaks App Store policies as well. Um, and it's uh, illegal. I think it's illegal in China to do that. Um, but anyway, back to the Kampu gacha thing. So you have to complete the coral lists to uh, unlock the future stuff. But, is that really Kampu Gacha? Because, I mean, if you're required to, you know, get the things and there's a limited amount of stuff to get, then you'll eventually get it by pure, you know, just by X amount of trials, you'll eventually get all the things. But, you can get past event fish, which is what I got, and I what made me realize this is even worse than I thought. I got this little stupid garbage fish that I hate. Look at him. Look at his hateful little face. You can't see it. He's behind the seaweed, but I, I hate him. I hate this fish more than anything I've ever hated. Um, I'm glad he's off screen. Anyway, you can get the past event fish. So if you're unlucky, you know, this is extreme numbers we're talking here, but you could pull this Gashapon 100 times and get 100 uh, 2017 fish 
and it would not progress this gashapon at all. So because of the Kampu Gacha, you would never have access to the pair of pygmy right whales and all of this stuff. That's the problem with keeping all of this stuff pure random. As long as there's duplicates and randomness, it's entirely possible you'll just be screwed out and absolutely never be able to progress. Because there's no deliberance. There's no... It's not a word. Um, there's no... There's no skill. There's no gameplay. Like I said, there's no, hey, I want a bat, bat wing sea slug. So what I'm going to do is play the game in a way that will cause me to achieve a bat wing sea slug, which used to be just you get some candy and you click the icon in the menu. Pretty simple. Now, no, you just got to roll the gashapon, the $8 gashapon for uh, just until you get the thing that you want. And you might never get the thing you want. And that's great. It's great, and that's illegal in, in Japan. Like, this this update is actually illegal in at least two countries, which is amazing. It's illegal in China because they don't list their goddamn gashapon odds, and it's illegal in Japan because they don't, because it's kanpo gacha. That's amazing. Tremendous. Anyway, I'm going to scream in a paper bag for a few minutes.